Well, first of all, I don't think we're going to have a world with no geographic borders anytime soon. But it is true that issues like health and、uh, movement of people cross borders, whether we like it or not, and that certainly has an impact on economic, social, and political issues. But I think、um, some of our biggest issues, like climate change,、uh, like health, are cross-cutting issues, and we need to approach them from a global perspective. And that's going to that's going to require、um, more collaboration, both across countries, but also across sectors, and getting down to really consulting with people and communities to make sure that they're involved. And have a real interest in the solutions. So, if we first define traditional leaders as those who rule with authority or with charisma or relying on expertise, I think it's going to take a more flexible approach for leaders of the future. I think they're going to need to be do more convening of different sectors of society, be it business, government, the nonprofit, civil society, etc., and be able to develop common cause because there are different sectors with different interests. At Synergos, my organization, we call these bridging leaders, and we see that there are certain skills such as listening ability and empathy and the ability to reach out across divides that are critical to this kind of leader, and it involves not only a horizontal of bringing people together, but also an inclusive approach, because again, unless we engage the people themselves, their communities, their organizations. In the strategies and the direction, we're not really going to have the buy-in, and then we'll see some of the divisions that we're already seeing today. Actually, we have some evidence from Synergos, my organization, of how bridging leaders working in partnership across sectors can have a significant impact on, for example,、uh, child nutrition in India or agriculture in Ethiopia. Or maternal health and child health in Namibia and in Southern Africa. This is a very important question because I think as wealth grows in the world,、um, philanthropic giving is also going to grow. And I would say that philanthropists can occupy a very important role beyond the giving of money. Uh, there tend to be people of influence who have skills, who have connections, and in a way, they can operate almost as the merchant bankers of, shall we put it, the philanthropic or the social sector, because they have the convening power. And I would hope that some of our future leaders in philanthropy will use their whole selves to also allocate their money, but. Their convening power and other things as well. I think there's no one right approach to philanthropy. People need to lead from their passions, but there's increasingly a trend、uh, for philanthropists to look at the complex issues of society and take complex approaches. And the UN Sustainable Development Goals would be one example where, in addition to governments making commitments that will address these goals. Philanthropists are getting involved with one or another of the goals and working collaboratively to try to make a real and impactful difference that will be global in its scope.、Um, also, there's a move toward greater collaboration among business and government and philanthropists to try to address some of the bigger complex problems that we face. We're seeing, in addition to this, new approaches to the allocation of philanthropic dollars. Some people don't want to stop at the five percent、uh, of income or whatever they are allocating, but they're looking at their whole portfolio and seeing how, through what we call impact investing, they can have a larger impact on social, economic, or political or or environmental issues with all of their dollars. And I would say that another trend is philanthropy. 
looking at human connections, and again, S in the partnership approaches that I mentioned before, uh, having philanthropists think not only what their particular passion is, but how they can use their convening skills and their abilities to work collaboratively with others, whether it be communities or businesses, to have a significant impact on the problems that philanthropy needs to address.